I don't know what's going on. There's now camera exposure manual. Hello Bacon, today we're testing sewing gadgets that Amazon threw at me. Again, okay. welcome to Keep Our Your Test Stuff so you don't have to. You shall not make fun of the name. You shall not make fun of the name. This is a garment steamer, nothing else. Just a garment steamer. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Wow, it, this thing is huge. It's so big. <laughs> I thought it would be like a travel thing. What the hell? The pictures lie to me again. Oh, it is an iron and a steamer at the same time. But it is really, really heavy and I'm not sure it's going to be comfortable to use. Let, let's try this. That's just perfect. I was going to pull the, the water in and the thing that holds it in place, now it's inside. How am I supposed to get it out? Let's try with the owl. This is ridiculous. Where's the water? See if it works as a simple, not great, but it's okay. Don't mind the noise in the background, the 3D printer is running. I'm trying to print my own gadgets because I couldn't find something to help me make the pom-poms. Well, something that does not cost $3,000 plus shipping from China. So I'm trying to make my own pom-pom machine. So far, I have no idea what I'm doing. I am terrible at math and calculating gears is not something that I can do well or at all. And the first print went, went fine. It worked perfectly. <laughs> if there is any bacon out there who is really good in math and or a mechanical engineer, please help me. I need help. Serious, serious help. Wondering if I'm going to keep this thing or if I'm going to eat it. As an iron, it isn't good. But as a steamer, it's very, very cool. Kind of heavy though. I'm not sure I like it for being so heavy. I already have a steamer, but it does not have a hot plate. What do you think about this? I'm going to remove off all the water. I don't know. And also, it's not as heavy as, as my normal iron. I'm really on the fence about this one. I don't know. I think I'll let you decide. Would you keep this or would you eat? this let me know in the comments because i'm desperate this was requested by one of my bacons on the discord join if you haven't already we have the invite in the description below come to the dark side of the internet where funny things happen we have memes and also we have the best community out there look at the looks the bacons created it is amazing you guys are so talented i'm so proud of you as your bacon mother i could cry over the things i see over there well, cry from happiness not sad crying it's good crying join the discord come to the bacon side it's a set from Amazon. It comes with snaps, metal snaps, ones I use for almost all my garments when I don't feel like installing buttons. The press. It is a metal thing. It has all the necessary doohickeys to make it work with the snaps that it came with. And an extra silicone doohickey in case yours existing one goes kaput. How? How? What? What? Go in there. Uh -huh. no. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with this because I already have one similar for the plastic snaps that I also use every time. But let's see how it works, shall we? I love snaps so much, so much. I love the snap. Like you one goes on the bottom. Over here, it will stay on the silicone part. Press. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, it works very well and better than hammering it. Spiky one goes on the bottom. This one goes here on the silicone part and stays. Then press violently. No violence necessary. It's not that hard. And then you have snaps. And they're really in there. They're not gonna gonna come off. Ooh, this is a definite key. This makes my life so much easier. If I hadn't lost the tools to hammer those, I would show you, but they're not here anymore. I'm sorry. I'm totally keeping this. I think now I'm officially in search for the perfect needle threader. 
I got three more. Two from Prim and one from Clover. This one is a fancy antique quilt needle threader and it is a very cute in a hard shape. Ideal for fine needles and I hate this packaging. It's metal! It is metal with a plastic doohickey over here. I don't know why this is like this. And this is one of those old needle threaders that came with a sewing kit from our grandmothers. I'm not sure why you have this here. Oh, what? I'm confused. It's so tiny, it will definitely go lost somewhere. It's so cute, but it is so small that I will lose it. And I will never find it ever again. So this works like the old time one. This needs to go inside the eye and it's already a hassle to put it in. Why? 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 Why are needle threaders so bad? Go in! There, finally. It's in. Through. Works. It works. A little finicky. Let's try this again now with my tiny millinery needle. This part is very bad. And then... Uh, threading is not the problem. The problem is putting the eye of the needle inside of this very thin wire thingy. It's thinner than the grandmother ones. It's very, very thin. So it's also hard to see. Don't understand how this is supposed to help someone who has problems seeing. If I can get it in, I pull it to the side and then I can do it. But coming from the top, it doesn't work. Very disappointed, I'm not going to lie. This thing is way too small, the wire is way too thin. It's not going to help people who can't see to thread a needle and that's the whole point of these doohickeys. No, unfortunately this is a yeet and I'm sad, very sad. We have the needle tea, the needle fairy. Oh. Comes with a plastic base. It's very cheap, plasticky and thin. And you attach this thing to this part. So you have tabletop needle threader. Seems to be broken, to be honest. I think it's broken. This is the thing that's supposed to pull the needle to the inside. And there is no hook there. How is this supposed to work? Or is there a hook somewhere else? Oh, this is a hookless thing. Okay, so you put the thread here. And then when you press it, the thing will go through the needle. It will push the thread through and not pull it. And there is a thread cutter right here. Oh lord! The needle comes in here. Oh look, you have a place to put the spool. Tuh. Nope, didn't work. What the hell? Is it right? Oh my god, it's not working. Let me try with the thin thread instead. But still oh. the thicker needle. It's not working. Without the needle it goes through, so that's that's a good part. <sighs> no. I'm losing my patience already. In with the eye facing the outside. No. The millinery one. If it's not threading the thick needle, then I have no hopes for it. Okay, it's in the needle, but the thread didn't come through. Oh, I think it I think it worked. Oh, it worked. Sort of. Oh no. So just a little bit of the thread went through the eye. <laughs> this again. And then. Oh. Oh, I think it worked. No, it. Uh, come on. This is supposed to be useful for people who can't really see. Why are you so weird? And now I cut the needle, but it will not catch the fiber. Oh, oh, oh. Did it work? Did it work? This is ridiculously bad. There is no way this will thread the needle. Ugh. I hate when things don't make my life easier. Yeet! The other one is a needle threader for sewing machine. It's kind of the same thing as the fish I tested, but it's bigger. And I have more hopes for this one. Not going to be lost somewhere in this awful room that's already all over the place again. It has a magnet. Ooh. Ow! Again, it's a hookless thing that will just push the thread through the needle. However, how does this work? What is this for? I threw the instructions out already. <gasps> there, so... Huh? Ooh, this is for you to set the needle on the sewing machine. Ooh, you put the needle in and then you put it up and then you close it. Fancy. Let's try the needle threader and setter. <laughs> Again, it doesn't have a hook. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, 
Why are you like this? I can't even find the needle hole with this. You're going over. I'm in the needle and I'm out of the needle. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, damn it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I, I can't. I, I can't. I'm losing my mind already. I, I hate it. I can't catch. I, I can't even catch the needle with only the thing. Is the needle eye there? I'm in the needle eye. But, oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give it a fair chance, but it does just oh, doesn't work. And I am not going to remove my needle just to try to use the setter. Because I know it's going to be a pain in the ass to do it. This is for needles that have a flat back and my needle is a round needle. It's a round industrial needle. It will not work. This is horrendous. Even the mini fish is better than this. The only thing that works is the magnet. Yeet! The next one is also a request from one of our bacons. It is the Dritz Curved Blade Seam Ripper. Contrary to other seam rippers, this does not have a hook with a pointy point. It is just a blade through unwanted stitches easily. Thin blade slides under stitches for quick cutting. Smoothly cuts through surgery stitches. <coughs> Plastic doohickey is very thin, but it's big enough that will not go easily lost. It has a cover to hide very threatening blade. This is wow <laughs> oh you can switch the blade even you can even switch the blade when i was shopping for it i didn't see any replacement baits blades for sale this is very sharp i'm really scared of this one i think i'm gonna cut myself Ugh. to the sewing machine i have a beautiful seam i can't put it here so that means i will lose this for sure do you <laughs> know how seriously i did it off camera Kinda hard to find the place to slide it. It's a very sharp blade. It takes the stitches very nicely. It did not damage the fabric. I'm positively surprised by this one. With a curved seam. Not a problem whatsoever. Now an open seam. This here is where I would normally use the seam ripper. This? Ooh. Oh wow. It works and it's kind of easier to use than the normal one. I am still very intimidated by this blade though. <laughs> I think this is a key with hospital potential. So be careful. And talking about curved seam rippers, I got this one that is a slice with ceramic blade with ceramic seam ripper. It's a slice seam ripper with ceramic ceramic blade manual. Safer than metal blades. It's lightweight and easy blade change. Up to 11 times longer lasting than steel. Doesn't have doesn't have a protective cape, of course, because it's a retractable blade. And there it is not as skinny as the other one. It doesn't have such a sharp point as the other one and it seems to be sharp but not as scary sharp as this one. Oh and you have two positions. You can you can expose just a little bit of it and the total. It's a cat claw! It's a cat claw! The same one damaged the fabric. It's not as smooth as the other one. The blade is way thick. As I said, I'm not scared of this one as I am of the other. Getting started is a little bit weird. You have to put more force in it. And I damaged the fabric again, so this is not great. It's cutting through the fabric and it's not helping <laughs> at all. Oh no. Fabric is taking a beating. The split seam. The seam that has been pressed open is easier. No damage to the fabric there. This is what I normally use and I'm using to, so nothing much to say about this. This one is very, very good, but also very, very sharp and scary. And this one, I need to put it in use to see if I will like it or not. The majority of the tests I made damaged the fabric, so I'm not happy about that. I will let you decide on this one. And the next one is something Amazon threw at me. It came like this. No instructions. It's just two very heavy metal pieces with screws. Cast iron gauge. They are both the same thing. No different. So I got two for the price of what? Here you can sew curved seams. With this it will help you sew straight seams. And this one 
is... I don't know. I wish there were instructions. I'm not an instruction person, but for the first time, I think we should have had instructions. It comes with these standard screws that will fit on 99% of the sewing machines out. Maybe even the vintage ones. I was actually able to find a video on TikTok. TikTok? Instagram? Shorts? On how to use this. Let's give it a try. Welcome to the back of my machine. Just hopefully the camera will not fall off the table. I have two screws for guides here. I'm gonna use only one and uh, further away just to be sure that that I will not hit the needle bar or the presser foot. It really sticks there. I just twisted this with my hand and it really worked. I want it to be a little bit further and let's go. The straight one is very good. It does work really well to move to a turn. I was not really able to control it. Let's try this one with an inside curve. This one is good with inside curves, like for example, an arm side, an arm hole. It works pretty well, but if you are trying to sew the sleeve cap, then it will not work, because I think this will be better for the sleeve cap situation. It's not very flush with the table here. This bevel here is not really good. I really wish it would be flush with the table instead, but I don't understand that maybe the seam needs to go underneath the bevel stay right here for a better control but i was not able to make a sleeve cap situation work let's try this again also never mind that my seam test is not the straightest my curves are very pointy better but still not longer. but maybe this is just my incompetence but, uh... I don't know. What do you say? It's a steady curve if you don't consider my seam allowance, but I wish that it would follow the seam allowance and not make a steady curve. You know what I mean? I have a magnetic gauge for my machine or head because I can't find it anywhere. I have no idea where it went. I lost it. <laughs> and if you are sewing something that's a little thicker, the magnetic gauge sometimes moves around. So this one is really, really good. It is better than my magnetic one. So I will keep Keep this and I totally recommend it if you need help your straight or curved seams this works pretty pretty well and I got two of these that I will not use so if you want it tell me in the comments and I'll send it to you for free or if there are too many people that are interested in it I will select one of you randomly thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon ta-ta